Hey, what's up my chemistry people? people? It is Mr. Boylan, and today, what in the heck are we gonna do in this video? We are gonna use thermochemical equations to calculate energy changes that occur in chemical reactions and classify these reactions as exothermic or endothermic. Whew, that should sound familiar. So let's break it down a little bit. For this video, we are gonna use Hess's law to calculate the enthalpy change of a reaction. So pretty short, pretty sweet today. First thing, sometimes it is impossible or impractical to measure the enthalpy change of a reaction by using a calorimeter. As much fun as it is, sometimes it's just difficult because the things that we're working with are toxic, hazardous, nasty, for whatever reason, it's just impractical. And so what we can do is apply this idea of Hess's law. Now, what is Hess's law? It simply states that if you can add plus two or more thermochemical equations plus to produce a final equation for a reaction, then the sum plus of the enthalpy changes for the individual reactions is the enthalpy change for the final reaction. So basically, you can add together some reactions to get your overall reaction. Boom, you can calculate your enthalpy change. So as you work to manipulate uh, these equations to add them together to get your overall equation, a couple of things to keep in mind. One, if you reverse a reaction, essentially you change the sign of delta H. So as you look at the uh, reactions on your screen there and as you look at your notes, notice that this equation would have a positive enthalpy change of 60 kilojoules. However, if we reverse it, the enthalpy change becomes negative. Same magnitude, but different sign. Rule numero dos. Sometimes you will need to multiply the reaction by a factor when you're trying to get your overall reaction. And if you do multiply your reaction by a factor, you have to multiply your enthalpy change by the same coefficient or by that same factor. So for example, as you look at the equation that is given, Again, the enthalpy change 60 kilojoules. But if we multiply it through by a factor of two, we have to multiply our enthalpy change by a factor of two as well. And then lastly, recognize that you can combine rules one and two. For example, if you take that first reaction and you triple it and then reverse it, you will triple your enthalpy change, but it will have the opposite sign. And then ultimately, again, you'll be manipulating these chemical equations, you'll be reversing them, you'll be multiplying them fact by factors. And sometimes you'll have compounds or elements that are in the reaction that you need to get canceled out, and you can cancel them out as long as it appears on the reactant side of one of the reactions and on the product side of the other, you can get it to cancel out. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Uh, check out some of those guided practice problems so that you can get a good idea about how to apply Hess's law and just introduce yourself to it before we look at it in the lab.